On that day when the evening had come, he told them, let's cross over to the other side of the sea. He was baptized and sent away into the wilderness where he would be tempted by Satan. He was pressed from all angles and all sides, but he stood strong and afterwards he began his mission. Hello again, God's beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Five Minutes. It's the show that's committed to bringing you uplifting and inspirational word to help you through those hard times. First off, we greet you by saying Happy New Year, and we give glory and honor to God first and foremost for allowing us this opportunity to see this new year and to continue to do the work that he has called us to do. It's been quite some time since we last had a message of faith and inspiration to give to you as there's been so many things that has happened to us over these months and through it all we praise God because he had allowed us to pick up and start where we left off so let's go to the other side Jesus cast out unclean spirits and he even healed the mother of Peter they saw with their own eyes the miracles that he performed and in their hearts they were moved to go to distance with him Let's pass over to the other side, he said to them. They were traveling in the presence of God's very own son, doing the will of God. They were in his care and under his watchful eye, yet the storm came upon them. And this leads me to say to you that, even though you're in the will of God, doing everything in accordance with what he said to do, a storm will come and it will cause you to run in fear. When the storm rose up, they woke him from his rest. And when he woke him, he rebuked the winds and the rain. They even asked themselves afterwards, what manner of man is this that even the wind and the seas obey him? Rest in peace are what we seek after. After a long, hard day, we are tired and we need to rest. Here, Jesus sets the example and laboring to the point of fatigue and exhaustion. And at that point, it brought him to the point of collapse. And being so tired, he even slept through the violent storm. Storms of life do come and go, but through it all, he keeps on making ways for us. What manner of man is this, they ask. He is the Messiah, the creator of all things. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is a sovereign Lord who has power over all things. And yes, even Mother Nature herself has to obey his voice. It doesn't matter who you are or how anointed you may think that you are. You may be gifted and filled with the Holy Spirit, but one day a storm will arise, and when it does, what would you do? Jesus is able to to deliver because he never forsakes, and he brings us his peace. But while we've been hit from all sides, we cry out to him, yet no answer comes. We get fearful, and we begin to have doubt. Where are you, Lord? Are you asleep? Master, don't you care that we're sinking? Jesus, do you see what I'm going through right now? Where are you? What are you doing? Are you there for me? And through it all, he keeps on making ways for us. The storms of life can come up often and quickly. And what we need is rest. We need the same type of peace that he had when he was in the back of the ship sleeping. We need a pillow. We need to trust and confidence in God ourselves. Jesus has the power to control the storms of life. and As I mentioned before, they may come and the winds will blow, but great is his faithfulness and his mercy endures forever. Rest in peace comes through faith and in Jesus Christ and the power of his word because he will never let us down. He is faithful even to those who are faithless. Well, that's my time. I pray that you all have a blessed week. And Jesus came and spoke, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. One love. Five minutes.